Hi guys, Nick of Nicktastic Art. Thank you so much for stopping by the art channel this evening. Tonight's piece is going to be a Dutch pour and I'm calling it Frosty. It's very much um, reminiscent of the Midnight Frost piece I freestyle piece I did. So it's using the same colors. We've got a peach pink, peach pink background and then we've got some turquoise, some purples. I've added a silver. It's a very frosty piece. Um, one thing I would say is that the peach pink background that I use was a Lucas color. And unfortunately, I'm getting results where when I mix my Lucas color with my pouring medium, there are little pieces of paint that just will not integrate. And so ultimately on the canvas, I ended up having paint bumps. I don't know if you know what I mean by that. I've never had that before. Never had it with any other brand. I was trying this out specifically because I really like this color. Um, but the Chauvin color that I normally use is called Caribbean Pink, and I prefer that, and it blends beautifully. So I'm going to go back to that brand of paint and, and for my peach pink, but I was looking into it for an alternative and um, wanted to try the Lucas, but it, the results were just uh, unfortunately not what I needed them to be. But join me on this journey, won't you? So here's the dried result. And there are a couple things I'm going to point out on this one. So it's very pretty. There's a lot of shimmer from that turquoise that happened in that corner there. You can kind of see the silver had a little shimmer as well. But really that turquoise is where the shimmer kind of shines. Um, but as I expected, or as I've seen at least, the Lucas paint, and I don't know if you guys can see that here, it leaves little bubbles or little pieces of paint. So right here, probably cannot see that, but I can certainly see it in person. There are little bubbles that are the paint because that paint just does not, and this side there's some as well. There we go, you can kind of see them there. See those little pieces of acrylic paint? Um, it just does not, work into a flow, an acrylic flow period, paint at least. Um, so yeah, not not surprising what I've seen a couple times now. And um, does ruin the effect, but I'm gonna try and, and fix the piece. So thanks for stopping by everybody. Find your bliss. Okay, we've got an 18 by 24 inch canvas, obviously. I'm going to go over the colors real quick, then I will flood the canvas. And so we are going to once again attempt a Dutch pour with this peach pink from Lucas. We'll see if I get a better reaction this time. I've got Soho's Prussian Blue. I've got Soho's Dioxazine Purple. I've got Amsterdam's Turquoise that I have added a Arteza Pearl Turquoise to. And then I've got a white and a custom silver. So, gonna get the peach laid down and we'll come back for the duck. I've got the base laid down. I'm not really worried about my sides right now because I can paint those later. But what I have noticed about this Lucas is that, man, it just does not mix well. Um, they're just, no matter how much mixing you do, there's always little chunks of paint. And, and I can see those. Um, and, we're just we're gonna do this and see how it dries, but this may be the last time I use this color, because um, I I can definitely see, no matter the fact that I've mixed and mixed and mixed and mixed that paint, that there are residuals of the paint, and it's not gunk, it's not from Floetrol or anything, it's definitely the Lucas paint, because I can pick up the little pieces and take them to a side and smooth them out, and it's paint. So we're going to start with the darkest color first, and I'm going to do kind of a curve up. So we're going to come from this direction, and I may do a little curve up that side as well. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do it. All right, so we're just going to take it there. Um, I'm going to do the turquoise next, and that should give me a little pop of color there. And then we'll do the dioxazine purple. And then we'll do the silver. Okay. 
And I may add some more, go a little heavy with the silver, because I'd really like to see that work against that peach pink background. Um, and I, then I was gonna add some white. So I still think that's the right approach. Oh, this white is having its last, <laughs> look at those bubbles. Those bubbles are huge. We're just gonna torch this again. Torch. Got lots of air bubbles here. And we'll blow this out. Fingers crossed. Um, yeah, I think we're definitely, I'm just planning the blowout in my head. I'm gonna go halfway up the side, down the side, and then we'll see where we're at with that one. with the way that blew out. Yeah, let's torch and see what we've got going on. I like the interaction of the peach pink with some of the side areas. Um, just looking to see if there was anything, I'm not sure what that was, that I would change about the way that this blew out over here. Or if I wanna soften any of these lines up. okay with this. Yeah. 
I think I am. I think I'm, I'm good with this. I like the little bridge of the purple there. Um, so these are harder lines here and they don't have as much interaction with the background color. And so I may just blow out a couple of those areas. And I will bring you guys back for the wet results since you've already seen the dried results. You know what this looks like, but we'll see how much it changes between what you see um, when it's wet versus what you're seeing when it's dry. So we'll bring you back in just a moment. And here are the wet results. So we're going to come into a couple areas here. So just tried to integrate the blow a little bit more, soften up the edges a little bit. Right there is a good example, um, but some of the areas are really pretty. Oop, sorry, just trying to work out where the heck the camera's pointing. Ah, okay. So there's a, a section that I think just really lovely. Um, this side in general just has a lot of movement to it, which I'm really happy about. I like the the center section here and. This side over here has got some really pretty areas. So that is the wet results. You've already seen the dry. I hope you guys like this. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Find your bliss.